Hi, Peyton. Nice to kind of see you again. See you too. This new movie, how is it different for you? And talk to me a little bit about what your Andy Mack fans will see as a change with this role. Yeah, I mean, I think from basically since Andy Mack started, I was always thinking like this project is so special to me and so important to me and the stories that we were telling were so relevant and timely. And I just... From the from basically when Andy Mac started, I was always thinking like, well, what am I gonna do next? How am I gonna find something that's going to be as fulfilling as this, you know? And it's hard. It was very difficult, you know, because I'm trying not to like compare projects because I mean nothing will ever come close to Andy Mac. But um, but like when I read the Secret Society script, it was sort of the first time since I read the Andy Mac script that I thought, wow, like it's this perfect combination of entertaining and fun, but also very relevant and with these themes and storylines that are very important um, to the world and to our societal climate right now. Um, So, I mean, I hope everyone that watched Andy Mack enjoys um, this film. Again, I tried my best to find something that, that would sort of come close to um, what we had with that show. And, um, you know, it's very different though, also in a lot of ways, you know, there's action and adventure and you'll see me playing a totally different role. So I'm just excited to see what fans think and um, how they react to it. Absolutely. I mean, as a big fan of Andy Mack, this was a great next project for you. And I'm like you said, like within the first 10 minutes, you're like, whoa, this is so topical, so important. Like it, it just, it's a great project. So I think they'll love it. Um, but like you said, it's pretty different. So talk to me about the stunts. You were doing some pretty crazy action work there. Yeah. So one of my favorite parts, honestly, of filming were those physical elements. You know, my character is super kind of physical and active the whole movie. You know, she she plays the guitar. She rides a skateboard. She does all these stunts. She's always running someplace or running away from someone or something. Um, But yeah, so getting to sort of train for that was really cool. So for kind of I think it was like three weeks, probably before we started filming, we started doing doing um, stunt training where we would work with the stunt coordinator and sort of um, figure out how to achieve the effect they were going for in like a safe way. Um, But yeah, doing those kind of like parkour lessons was a ton of fun. Um, I also have a dance background. So that kind of um, definitely, I think, lended itself to the more physical elements of the film. Cool to sort of be able to get into character, not only like her headspace and emotionally, but also, you know, her body and the physicality of, um, of Sam. Yeah, and uh, Noah told me that you guys both learned instruments for the role. You learned guitar and he learned drums. Yes. Uh, he told me that he's still playing drums. Now, are you still playing guitar? You know, a little bit here and there, like when I have a lot of free time, especially in quarantine, I've, you know, learned a couple songs, but I have not kept up with it in the way that he has. He's been very impressive. Like he has like a whole band going on now, I'm pretty sure with his friends. So I I wasn't that intense with it, but, um, but I try as much as possible. Well, you looked great. I was wondering, I was like, did she play guitar? I can't remember. I I did I had never played guitar before, but I did learn for the movie so that it all, you know, looked right. Awesome. Um, and your cast is so much fun on screen and off. What were some like major bonding moments for you guys? Yeah, well, I think um filming anything is a very bonding experience because you know you're together 24 7 you have to be very vulnerable with one another pretty much immediately you know there's the long hours there's the late nights so you bond very tightly very quickly and especially because we were in Toronto so we weren't you know with our families or our friends for the most part and we really had to lean on each other being in sort of the city that none of us had ever been Um, so we bonded very closely because of that and we just had a great time exploring the city, finding great restaurants, um, finding fun shopping places. Um, Some of us went to the Pride Parade. So just doing all those sort of fun activities as a group to really get to know each other as more than castmates and co-workers, but as people. For sure. And then lastly, I got to ask if you could have one superpower, it can be in this world, it can be in any world. What are you choosing? I think I would want the ability to fly. 
Um, I think it, one, it would just be such a crazy, cool, like experience, like actually flying. Um, but then also just sort of being able to go places that airlines don't even fly or especially now with Corona, like we're not really supposed to be going to the airport. So you could just head out. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much, Peyton. It was nice to see you. Thank you. Nice to see you too.